Hey everybody, it's Rachel and it's Wednesday the 30th of March. Um, I am 40 weeks and 4 days pregnant and no baby. Um, I'm pretty much 100% sure she's dropped. Um, I have so much pressure down there and whenever I stand up it hurts. It feels like a bowling ball is just sitting right there and I hobble around bent over until I kind of get used to the pain and then I can stand up straight and then walk around. Um, and I just have period cramping pretty much all the time now. Um, so I don't know if that's just the way my contractions are or or what. So, um, yesterday was my last day of work, and today I just slept in, doing all of the linens, so when I come back from the hospital, everything will be fresh and clean. Um, my boyfriend mowed the front and backyard, so the lawn's done, um, and... I did some last minute adding to the hospital bags. Then my friend from work uh, came and picked me up and we went to an Italian buffet and I just stuffed myself. Since I know um, I'm going to be really anxious and everything tomorrow and then um, I probably won't be able to eat a lot in the hospital. So I just kind of had my last meal. Um, and then I'm going to try to take a nap this afternoon. So, um, like I said in the last video, I was really torn about doing this induction on Friday because it it isn't what I want to do. I really want to do a natural birth, and I'm concerned that with the Pitocin, the um, contractions are going to just be so hard for me to handle, blah, blah, blah. So, I've spent pretty much every day reading birthing stories and watching videos on people that were induced but still did it without any pain meds. And I've kind of got mixed. I mean, some people say, you know, it's horrible and some people said that it wasn't that bad. So it's really hard to base how mine's going to be on anybody else because it's going to be my birth. Um, so I've just kind of wrapped, have slowly wrapped my mind around the fact that even though this isn't the way I've been preparing for this 10 months, um, it is what it is, and it's going to be okay. I'm going to trust my body, I'm going to trust that I'm going to get through this, and that it's not going to be a bad experience. It's going to be wonderful. And this is just something added to it. But, you know, I can handle it. So, I feel okay about it. Because there's no point in dwelling on it. Like, oh, this isn't what I wanted, you know. I mean, people that get C-sections, that's not what they wanted, you know. Um, we don't want that, but it happens. So... I've just, you know, I've accepted it. So, I've turned it around to the positive in that, you know, since I do know when I'm going in, I actually get to be prepared in that, you know, I know when she'll be here, so that part is eliminated, the uncertainty. And so that way I was able to get everything ready around the house. I knew exactly when to take off from work. I knew exactly when to tell people, you know, it's going to be. So I'm just trying to look at the positive of being induced. Um, so this will probably be my last video before I have her. Um, the only reason why I would make another video before then is um, if when I go to the doctor to tomorrow morning, and by some miracle, I am, like, dilated to three centimeters. And they tell me I don't need to go in tomorrow night for cervix ripening. 
then I'll just be here at the house instead of the hospital and I'll make another video because I'll probably be like oh my god I'm going in in the morning so I possibly will make one tomorrow evening but this will probably be the last one and I'll do one last belly shot and that'll be that my tummy from the front side and other side she's uh, sticking out further on this side her butt's right here but uh, there we go my last belly shot next time hopefully it'll be a little bit smaller probably won't be much smaller I already had a big tummy before <laughs> but anyway wish me luck and thanks for watching bye